how do you see yourself forming? Do you see yourself living a more Chinese lifestyle in the sense that we're active, we're participating in our family's lives? How do you see it happening? Well, well, when it comes to a human, a human being learns, like Tina said, like you, you, you can adapt. Yeah, of course. You adapt. You change. Maybe if you grew up in Tanzania, mm. there are certain things that Tanzanians do, decide to do, so you adapt that way of doing things. But when you come to China, they do it differently. So you, you can adapt to Chinese and still have your Tanzanian. Exactly. But I feel I'm adapting in a way when it comes to actually the connection between the grandchildren and the and the and the and the grandparents and the grandparents yeah. is very strong. The grandparents are doing everything actually. Really I'm adapting plan. that. I'm learning like one day I want to be this close to my <laughs> grandchild. I don't have to say find the village and they have to travel kilometers to come get me. I'm going to follow them in town, stay with them, raise them and go back home. Again. That's honorable. Yeah. That's a yeah. really good point. Yeah. A really good point. That's what I'm learning and adapting. What about you, Tina? Tina looks horrified. <laughs> Can I just say, Tina looks horrified right now. <laughs> Her life are we? <laughs> mm -hmm. What's your way? Where we really want to know. I, I can't really talk too much about the future, of course. Yeah. Then I will say that um, I have realized that I, I I do avoid a lot of headache and heartache when 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 I when I stop thinking about the future. When mm. I just think about today, mm. of course I live today planning for a better tomorrow. But then um, I don't really um, plan too much too mm. long time. Mm -hmm. As long as I live today to the fullest, that that is okay. But um, adapting Chinese stuff and of course there's a lot of things that we can borrow from the Chinese community yeah. to, and vice versa to it, yeah, to yeah. the Kenyan community but then uh, it's very hard to change Chinese people <laughs> on their culture and stuff like that but then they, 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 especially even the saving culture the saving culture is actually mm -hmm. very good they're not mm -hmm. spent rates okay so I know we just finished talking about the elderly and when we're old what we want to do how we want to be However, the running theme for today's episode is, of course, marriage. So I wondered if you guys have any experience or any you know, stories that you can share with us about statuses and when we're single and when we're married, how we treat it different by society.